All right, so that was kind of a quasi transition. It was a substitution, but you know, but it was a transition from a mi a relative minor to its parent. Starting on the relative, it went something like. really was a, a triad to a pentatonic scale all pretty much in the same key and all that and it, we're, we're only going to be doing transitions to different um, scale tone chords here you know we're not going to be transitioning out of the key so let's look at where are we we are here too, too zoomed in there. <clears throat> Triad pentatonic pattern substitutions. Okay, so before we get to a transition, although since we're on the transition, we you know could get to that. I might get all nervous by the time we get back to that. Let's just let's just look at the regular triad pentatonic pattern substitutions. So let's try the first one. C root, root arpeggio, 5 root 3, to S3, uh, S2L, to G root on string, the root on the string, G root, finishing the G pentatonic, starting on CR. So we're over here, okay, we're going to go 5 root 3, okay, that we're going to do that and then from the three we're going to do an s2l so we know we're on the three so we can do an s3 s2l there so we can go three five six root now the, the important part is we're in the a box there this is the c the fingered c of course both c's are fingered and over here we've got the string based g shape um uh, root there, which is C in the key of C, right? But that's also the finger-based root for the A. Anyway, so we start there. We're going to do the C here, starting on five. All right, so we're going to do uh, uh, a triad, a C-shaped triad, second inversion into root. Then from the, but we're going to stop. We're not going to go up to. We're not going to go up there. Okay, which is the uh, fifth. We're going to stop at the third. Then we'll take this fifth. Notice we're still in the same kind of scale, but we're going from a triad to a pentatonic. Now we're on that GR. It's a G shaped root on the G string. Uh, it's a C. It's a C note. It's a G string root. And then we could just finish, what did it say? Finish with a G-shaped pentatonic. Okay, from there, are we going, yeah, we're gonna drop down to, all right, sorry. This would be like this. So, well, we should have probably should have stopped on the fifth when we got to the. Uh, so it's a. Sorry. On the piano, it, it really was kind of like just a mechanical putting together of these things. I didn't have a lot of feeling into it. But that's how I got on to making the transition. Finally, I said to myself, you know, I was in, in my sleep. I, I, I thought this. I thought like seven goes to the, uh, you know, to the half diminished, you know. I was like, okay, do that. Sometimes you hear a thought, you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. You know, and, and that's how I got the idea to do a transition. or trying to give these things a little more meaning. So let's see on the piano, it'd be like five root three, but then going into a pentatonic all the way up. Three, five, six, root two, 
three, five, six root. Let's see how we could arrange that to make it sound good. Okay, so it's. As that, do we get up that high? Let's see. We have our, our little a second inversion C here. Then we're out of the triad and we're going to go into a pentatonic. Okay, now we're, we're, we're in that G. We're going to finish with two, three, five. Can take it even to six to root. So we're going to play it all the way up here. It's really going to go. That's how that should sound. I don't, mean, I don't know what this means, but it's supposed to be. Okay, that sounds a little more acceptable. The point is, it's, it's a triad into a pentatonic substitution. Now, there are, there are a few other substitutions we want to look at. So that was the G root arpeggio, C shaped G root arpeggio. Uh, did I say G? I don't see any G in there. It was a C root arpeggio, second inversion, five root three, then taking the three into an S2L. Remember, S2L is three, five, uh, six root, okay? Which is part of one of our little patterns up here, right? It's in black here so you can see it. Three, five, six root. Those aren't like black keys. It's just colored so you can see uh, when I put the S2L into this pattern, which is the barred pa short pattern stack. Here's the S2Ls. Here's the S3Ls. S2L stacks on top of S3L. This is not supposed to be there. <laughs> you know, those two blank blank keys. I've ever, I thought I got all those guys right there. The reason why I put these two phantom keys there is just to let you know they're there, but I don't want to lose the integrity of the S3XL 567 root 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But what I wanted to draw your attention to is embedded in there is an S2L 234567 root 2. So there it is, 234567 root 2. Now, why is that important? Because when we're playing this mixolydian scale here plus its second and it's the five six seven you use this at the fret nut where you can't where you can't have the the uh, thing going past you know the fret nut there's no notes there okay now if you start on the r you get now where are we going to get our nice end to that scale if you imagine the two is a, is a S3, is an S3L, 234567 root two. So that's why I added the four there, so you can identify the S3L there. That's how you get out of it. The five, six will take into the seven root two. Five, six, seven. Okay. had to be an A. You know, and, and I will get a better notation to, for starting patterns on that root. Remember, you can start any pattern, and, and that's part of substitutions, too. So you just get to some point, some note you want to be at, say, five, and you want to go somewhere from there. I've already done something. I've won a three, five there. Um, and now I want to do something with that five. You can pick up a five in, in one of the other patterns, such as the S3XL, all right, that kind of thing. I'm sure there's another one around. Here's the five, six into the S3L, depending on how you, you know, you land on that five. So let's say you're playing in the key of C and you're playing a C-shaped, uh, 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 an A-shaped C, terrible A-shaped C, right? You can take that five into a five into a five six. Kind of thing. But that's still all within the same mode. It's all within the same um, 